Today on Alley Picked, I start a fire in my house. Wait till you see how that turned out. Laser engraving and cutting machines. They stink. Don't get me wrong, they're great. They just stink. Do not go in there. Woo! Okay, to be more precise, well, they don't stink, but the materials you cut are giving off odors in the air. But not just odors, lots of eye-burning smoke as well. This can be extremely noticeable when you're cutting or engraving wood. Last time I did this in my house, it smelled like a campfire for days. Also keep in mind that just because you don't smell it doesn't mean that it's not putting off harmful airborne particles. Now, this here is the Brovor Laser Engraving Enclosure with Exhaust Fan Pipe LED Light. It's fireproof and dustproof. On the bottom right inside is an exhaust fan which pumps the air through this tube right outside and into my neighbor's window. The inside measures 26 inches by 26 inches so your standard X-Tool or Orter laser can easily fit inside. Now the big question. Does it work? I don't know. This will be the first time that I'm going to test it but before I do let me show you how quickly and easily this thing goes together. Let's test it out and burn some wood. Oh, before I do, let me show you one more thing regarding this exhaust panel. I made this using a piece of scrap plywood. It's really quite necessary in order to properly vent your system. This is a four inch by four inch vent adapter. I bought it at Home Depot a while back. I also saw some on Amazon. I'll put links in the video description. I simply cut a corresponding hole in a scrap piece of half inch plywood. I first measured and cut the plywood so that it would fit perfectly in my window. The hose is a bit too long, but I didn't want to cut it in case I need to use it somewhere else where I'm going to need a longer hose. So I bunched it up in the middle and wrapped some painter's tape around it. The shorter hose will have better efficiency. I've been engraving a wood sign for about 20 minutes. So far, so good. Normally the room would be filled with smoke and it would stink really bad. Now I do smell some of the burning, but it's not as bad as it would be if I didn't have any enclosure. Now don't just take my word on this. I've got a smoke alarm here that's been sitting on top while this thing has been working and so far it has not gone off. I let this thing run for about an hour, cutting through this 1 8 of an inch thick basswood. It's also advertised as having noise reduction, but I didn't notice any noise reduction. If you do have any, it's negligible, so I wouldn't really count on that. The one feature that I did want to test was the claim that this thing is fireproof. I did see a video where this guy puts a torch to it and it barely leaves a mark. So what better way to test it than to start a fire? Okay, just a small controlled fire. Well, that went well. There wasn't a lot of smoke, but it did exit the tube. But sometimes I do like to push the limits of my testing. So what about a bigger fire? Well, this test did not go so well. I put a big hole right in the plastic cover. Now, the product description does say that the laser cutter cover can resist instantaneous high temperatures, but I guess that doesn't mean instantaneous fire. In summary, this unit costs about a hundred bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link in the video description. I do think it's a reasonable engraving cover. Now, you really don't want to run your laser engraving machine without proper ventilation. So on a scale of one to 10, I'd give this thing a nine on smoke removal, a seven on odor removal, and just a five on being fireproof since only half of it is. If they do want true fireproof, they're gonna need a better cover. I'm Tom, this is Alley Picked, and thanks for watching. That's the only thing I need is this.